stone seemingly in the Are position to do something devious. Madara gets impressed once again and brings out his sword. Gara floods him with sand, eventually trapping him in a sand pyramid, but Madara just casually destroys it. Just look at that face. He is not bothered. Welcome to Fight Night at Freddy's, where we rate the beef between characters of all verses. Tonight, we have the one man army of ninjas, Madara Uchiwa, against the moderately useful five kakis. Madara Uchiwa, a traitor, a lover, and a very gay man. K4 Hashirama's wood style. If you catch my drift, standing at 179 centimeters and weighing 71.3 kilograms, this man is a relic of the past, reanimated to battle. Bro is so old, he beats the village in a his opponents are the five kages, consisting of Tsunade, Gara, Onoki, Ai, and Mei. These kages are considered the most powerful in their respective village, and they team up against just this one guy who seems for Hashirama, Madara. They're fighting for their own definition of peace, and if you ask me that it's a very good reason. Though the kage are about to be humbled, and Madara just does that. Now for the pre-fight interview, as always, with the Beef ranking, high stakes equal wagyu, and damn reason are canned beef, not nah. feed from human consumption. Yeah. Now during the pre fight and if here's what all the fighters had to say to each other. You're still kids compared to me. Grow up. Anagi is obviously not a kid. I heard I was a kid maker in Boruto. I also make kids in Boruto with Hina. Now cue the gong. Let's this fight night as Freddy's begin. Soon as then I arrive just in time to deflect Madara and this bandage guy's attack. May arrives following them, being seductive and all. My hurt is only for Tsunade. With Tsunade healing Gara and Anoki, I and May buy her some time. May starts with spewing a questionable sticky substance from her mouth. And Madara runs away from it, saying that this salmon and worth absorbing being a respectable decision but a punches him mid-air leading him to the liquid may fold up with more semen seemingly drowning madara in it but madara pulls out the rig cage guarding him from the attack a stops for a moment thinking that madara just be built different but he still goes for the job may follows up with more seriously does she have any other one anyways it's all just semen we then see a background character get some more screen time that 10 10 and he says I feel so out of place here and I agree. Bro is wearing red while people around him are wearing green. Onoki may be cold, but he's a badass. We'll see that in a sec. My daughter explodes out of the liquid with some residue left from his session with Hashirama. He compliments the attack and swings at them, but they back off. He just tests their defense by throwing 69s at them and they defend with sand and stone seemingly in the position to do something devious. Madara gets impressed once again and brings out his sword. Gara floods him with sand, eventually trapping him in a sand pyramid, but Madara just casually destroys it. Just look at that face. He is not bothered. Man loves the area with mist and the bandage guy comes in crashing the party. An old man riding a black man appears in front of him, punching him away to the skies he ain't coming back he punches madara next breaking his susano's bone and leaving madara surprised the stakes are legit with this one the beef is on medium well but it's only time for round two and things are heating up. Anoki summons a stone golem. In response, Madara uses its wood style, snatching the golem's limbs. He then proceeds to shatter the golem itself and make the wood style red. The wood style stops with the flowers secreting from some kind of devious fart. With Gara taking the rest of the Kage away from it with sand. Madara emerges from his Susana once again and cross drops all of them into the ground. But bro was not done. He prepared for this. He was planning this combo he uses fire style and sets fire on the wood style he just used earlier making her four kage collapse Anoki almost collapses but he taps onto the old man power he uses his particle just to clear the surrounding area of fire but also damaging madara now that is an old man in anime so now they will also get badass later on more about that very soon madara becomes all dramatic and shit slowly 
Finally turning around, revealing Hashirama embedded onto his skin chest. Turns out bro was sipping so hard, he decided he'll plant Hashirama's cell into his body. Madara might be handsome, but that is creepy as hell. Bro starts to regenerate with his clothes and armor. He insults Nadi not for being good enough, but I digress. Nadi is good enough for me, but she still makes me feel things. As Nadi was doing her speech, Madara saw Hashirama in her. Magab gives out the rules and then breaks them because she's just that good. She gains the two, which makes her even hotter. I can break her and she'll heal no problem. She charges at Madara and cracks the ribcage, but Madara unleashes fire style. The beef is actually heating up, being cooked to medium. Now for one of the juiciest part of this fight is about to pull out the fire with water style so she can use other jutsu. But you know what? I think I like the salmon better. She full up with the water dragon dragon madara to eye for a chop and tonight with a kick her attacks break the rib cage and make madara crash down the ground and press with Tsunade, he tells her that if she dies others will soon follow tonight told him to shut you the hell up and they assemble. Tsunade gets to hit Madara again, giving him the Apple logo bite on his right side. Madara will wear Nak attack on Titans later. I get to that in just a bit. Gala then follows up quickly with a stand pyramid sealing Madara inside. However, Tsunade gets impaled by Susano's swords from below. The four of them enter in shock, and Tsunade being raised like a barbecue, Madara reveals himself, giving them the bad news that they just sealed the no shit, bro Wake was prepared 10 years ago. Classic anime. Tsunade drops the swords and pushes the severed sword through her body. Man. Tsunade is just as perfect as Vaporeon for certain things. Then she then throws the sword's fragment matter and it responds by giving her an explosive bracelet. What a gentleman. She gets pushed back into the rock but it's seemingly fine. Now with the blood, the beef might be medium rare now we ramp it up to the peak of this fight with madara asking her how is she fine Snyder replies with i'm just built different like she's on some edit madara then sees her wound quickly heal as he was spewing his admiration for tonight onoki goes for the surprise attack however madara just absorbs it saying that onoki has gone senile dude you are absolutely older than this motherfucker the fuck are you even talking about may then say some shit about being five to one in a testament of madara's might so madara uses some clone and gives each kage five of them the insane part, the clothes were all using Susano's. Seriously, this scene is out of an Attack of Titan scene. Madara will eventually be humble with them. We'll see more of that later. And May gets punched with one, but God just saves her in time. Another one attacks Ara, but he defends with Sam. And the two additional Susano's fucking jumped Sam. Jumps away, but was attacked mid-air. Getting Playing anyway. Sunetti appears with two Susano sword going through her, and That's she still possible. punches Susano's to the ground. Two swords inside her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. A blocks a punch from one, and Sunetti collapses from exhaustion. A gets worried about Sunetti, and while being distracted, he gets grabbed by Susano. He then stares in Dara's eye, leaving him immobilized. Dara wasn't done. He jumped A with five swords. Madara, listen, I think that's enough. Anyways, holy shit, you're destroying them, Madara. Onoki saves I just in time with the stone golem and releases him from the Genjutsu. Madara with Sunade giving him support from the back. He unleashes the particle jutsu through the surrounding area, big enough to wipe down Susano's army while also damaging Madara. He divided the jutsu to let May Water's dragon come through it. Got a hold him in place with sand containing Madara's car extended warranty. No wonder he wants to give it to him. A is streaming is fighting to the water dragon too. Madara is being absurd now. This beef is cooked medium rare. Now for the final round. Juicy one. 
Madara unleashes his full power with perfect Susano. He doubles down on it, but making his Susano upgrade his full armor. Witnessing it, Onoki strips off all hope, stops his jutsu immediately. Madara states that Hashirama is the only one who could stop him, hinting at the fact that he's actually gay and wants Hashirama to dominate him. Don't worry, he's just a few miles away. Madara is submissive. Who would have thought? I need a refund for all these episodes. So it's he goes on about his love for Ashirama while also getting his swords from the sheet. He swings and my god, the surrounding mountain got a haircut. All the kages go flying back, stealing all of his powers. He gets ready for the next strike, lifting his blade in the downward attack. But Bro Susano's disconnect, Madara goes down, shining white with the reanimation jutsu used on him being released. Lucky for them. You could expect the guy to just sell down but not him Bro is not satisfied by handling them he wants to destroy them he jumps toward him and releases fire up then and may prepares a water attack he could not make it in time so Sinaida deflects all of it with a bear and with that attack her enhancing healing state wears off she is nearly collapsed right before Madara's attack she manages to dodge it because the power of friendship a stable of the series without the beef rating is complete now for the post fight interview after the fight we ask the fighter some questions when asked why he's so powerful Dara replies Gishimoto didn't have any better ideas for him so he just became that powerful the five guys is just salty about their loss refused to give any comments but they were obviously disgusted by the right kage with the entire world at stake this beef is certified wagyu beef the blood is there the violence is a plus and the choreography of the fight is anti but in the absurdness of madara is really what takes it to the top really the top of the class fighting in outer space with their own ideals with that the beef is cooked medium rare no wonder madara didn't make a kid ashirama is no longer here but listen i am the enhanced when discord all right bye